Hey guys, it's Sonia. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite body butter recipes. And this one in particular has shea butter and mango butter, which I absolutely love um, because they're not too greasy and they just leave a really nice sheen. And yeah, this leaves my skin feeling really soft and hydrated for the whole entire day, which is a plus for me. And yeah, I like to make my own products because I know what's in them and I know exactly what I'm putting on my skin and I thought I'd share with you guys this particular recipe and if you have any great recipes or recommendations that you think I'd love um, leave them in the comment section below and I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorial don't forget to thumbs up comment and subscribe bye so I'm going to use 100 grams of shea butter and 100 grams of mango butter. This will be enough to fit my container. And I'm going to use sweet almond oil and macadamia nut oil, which are one of my favorite oils. And I used about 12 to 13 milliliters of each oil to make about 25 milliliters because I don't want my butter to be too oily. And I'm going to use natural vitamin E oil. Rosemary antioxidant, organic lavender essential oil, organic rosemary oil and for the fragrance I'm going to use cherry blossom which is perfect for springtime. Now I'm going to add some hot water into a pot and place my mixing bowl on top of it to act as a double boiler and I'm going to add both the butters to melt. And I'm not going to let the butters melt completely, I'm just going to let them sit in the hot water until they're a creamy consistency as you can see. I'm going to take my sweet almond oil and my container oil and just mix that together. I'm going to put one tablespoon of natural vitamin E oil, which is great for the skin. Five drops of rosemary antioxidant, which will improve and increase the shelf life of my body butter. About 10 drops of lavender oil. And 10 drops of the rosemary essential oil. And I'm just going to mix that all together ready for whipping. Now that everything's mixed together, I'm going to put them into my stainless steel mixing bowl. And I'm setting the speed to about medium to high and just leave that to whip for about 10 minutes or until the mixture is a light fluffy texture. And after about 10 minutes of whipping, um, you can see that my body butter is light and fluffy and it leaves nice peaks when you mix it. And now I'm just going to add all of the body butter into my container. And that's basically how you make my favorite shea mango body butter. 
and it's really nice and soft and it melts on contact with the skin and it's not too greasy which is a great thing. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next video.